Okay, here we go. This time we're out in uh, San Marcos, right next to Palomar College. I'm gonna do a quick ride at Pea Mountain. I've never been here. Um, I always see people riding here. It looks like a little short trail. But uh, yeah, had a couple of hours to kill, so decided to come for a quick ride. Is the heat starting to turn up? At this very moment, it's about 78 degrees. It's uh, forecasted to be around 86. Right now it's 9.30, so I got a couple hours before the heat really turns up. My ride actually started next to the little park, and then you pretty much go up the hill of the neighborhood. And I can already see the entrance from here. And then I guess I'm gonna climb up a little bit. Okay, so, so far this climb has been like the beginning of uh, La Costa, super steep. So yeah, we're gonna keep pushing forward. For a minute, I thought I was gonna have to climb that shit. Steep. I'm so glad I'm not doing that one. Oh, that's pretty nice. So this climb has turned into like so they're very similar to Vail Lake, the fire road. It's not steep, it's a gradual climb. The first part was really steep though, but it's turning out to be kind of mellow right now. Not as bad as other places. So as I'm climbing up, I'm seeing a lot of little trails crossing through this climb like this one to my left. A little berm comes in from the top of there. So, not bad. Coming across another one. Looks like super loose dirt. Almost there. Okay, so this is the fun part, trying to figure out which way I have to go. I'm looking at another homie's ride, trying to figure out what way. So I have to go that way, I have to go to my left. So we'll start heading left a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully we find the entrance to the little quick downhill. There's a couple little downhills that I actually see. Let me see. I'm gonna go left, but I wanna see this little entrance right here. Mm -hmm. See if there's anything exciting right here. Oh, nice. Nice and technical this way. I might just take this way now. Let me go look at it real quick. <laughs> Couple drop downs here. Very nice. And you have a couple jumps over there. It's <clears throat> one route. This way is all chunk. Check it out. Chunky, chunky. Maybe a little bit bashing. <laughs> Quick little jump right here. And of course we got the easy way. I think I'm going to take the far right one. It is all doable. This part here though is a, it's a little sketchy. There's one thing I want to start doing. I want to make sure that my suspension is set up before I do any downhill no matter how big or small. Because lately I've been riding locked down. And it's not, then downhills are not very fun when your suspension is locked out. Okay, so there's two fire pits right in front of me. You want to go right between them. Um, and it leads you to the two entrances. The far left one is a lot chunkier than the right. But they look fun regardless. Nice little burn. It's really loose over here. 
little jump. Oh, a little drop. Oh shit. Little jump I probably could have hit. Bitched out. Let's go. Nice little jump line here actually. Let's see. Oh shit. Yeah. Not speed for that. Woo! Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's not the way I wanted to go. But I just wanted to try it out a little bit. Oh shit. Probably should have dropped my seat on that one. Fuck, this is steep. Really steep. And loose. Come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Woo! All right, here we go. Right. Looks like a gnarly line right there. It's all rocks. You can probably do it. Fuck, I shouldn't be doing this. It's gonna go fast. Go fast, go fast. Let's see. I could definitely do it, I think. <laughs> See this one. How this looks. So you could go to the left or right on this one. Doable though. Um, I would just like to point out that I don't have pads on. I thought it was gonna be hotter than it is right now. Um, heat is my kryptonite. I cannot stand heat. It drains me completely. But yeah, I kind of feel like going back up and doing this whole section. Let's try this shit. Wish me luck. Okay. Oh, supposed to go left on that one. Damn, you could also go straight. Huh. Let's see where this goes. Okay, some more mellow rock garden. Very fun. Nice little jump. Okay. Okay, here we go. The first time attempting these rock gardens. Uh, I'm already nervous. Oh, Woo! that was fun. Woo! Oh shit. That's probably been one of the craziest gar that's probably been one of the crazier rock gardens I've done in a while. Sort of a bitch. Look at this shit. God damn. Okay, different POV on this rock garden. That shit is scary. Look at this shit. Whew. Let me give you a bird's eye view. Whoever made this did a good job. This is how it looks from up here. 
there's like a little gap you have to hit that was scary so then i'm gonna go back to the top do the line all the way down so as i'm climbing back up to the starting point i see another trail that looks pretty fun looks technical short but fun it's a balloon floating around but yeah i definitely want to come back here with the with the crew okay we're back to the top mm -hmm. i kind of know what line to take now um it should be really fine <sighs> so just to remind you i'm by myself out here but i am a member of the strava summit if you ride by yourself i highly recommend it because you can send this thing called the beacon um you pick a couple contacts on your phone and every time you go off for a ride you send them a quick message it tells them where you're at exactly i guess they can follow you like oh, with the you. gps signal obviously but there has been times that i'm actually just standing still for a while probably just assessing the situation on a segment or something and i get a text message from my friends it's like hey are you okay man because you haven't been moving are you dead have you been attacked by a mountain lion you know stuff like that but um yeah i think it's a uh, it's definitely worth the seven bucks seven or eight dollars because just the safety you know like you just cannot put a price on safety so if you're a person that rides alone a lot i highly recommend it because it's just a peace of mind you know knowing that someone knows exactly where you are and of, of course if they see you in one spot for 30 minutes it's, you know something's going on you know unless you're camping or something like that but but yeah i highly recommend it if you're a solo rider or if you're scared of going solo thinking you're gonna get hurt it definitely gives you a peace of mind and, and since you're not worried so much about getting hurt you tend to enjoy the segments you also tend to take a little bit more risk i guess you can say but um it's definitely worth it in my opinion but so okay enough of that let's go for a quick ride so again i'm staying right i'm unlocked cool here we go okay this is rollable I'm actually gonna go right this time because that's where the little rock garden's at oof I passed the jumps for now I did not have breakfast today and that's definitely affecting me right now here we go the little rock garden section see if I can point the camera down a little bit There you go. Oh, shit. Woo. So you get chunky again. Chunky but fun. Definitely the duel. No chunkiness. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo! Fuck. A lot of chunk. I'm actually gonna put my camera down a little bit. So you'll be able to see some of this stuff. Okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, it's loose. Loose but fun. Loose but fun. Fucking sand, dude. Oh, super fucking loose. Please need some water. Oh, losing traction in the rear wheel. Woo! Oh shit, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, there's a trail this way, steep as fuck. I honestly don't know who want to do this one. Oh shit, should I do it? Should I not? Fuck it, dog life. Nice and slow though. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is fucking loose, dude. Do not go full lock right here. Oh shit. The car right here. Come on. This is a drop or what the fuck? Oh, that's a drop. Oh, fuck that. It's fucking trippy. 
I hope Eli will like this. Okay, so this is how the little drop looks. Oh, wood planks. Oh, dude, I gotta admit, they're fucking sketchy too. They have a power line actually. I don't really know if it has power or not, but there's actually a outlet plug right there. Yeah, it's a it's about a four foot drop around there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bypass that for today. Go back to the trail. If it was rollable, I would have definitely done it. But here we go. These fucking uh, segments are super steep, dude. Oh man, here we go. Hopefully the camera catches some of this stuff because I didn't really tilt it down. And just a quick pointer, if you're ever watching a YouTube guy and you see his chin while he's wearing a, a gimbal, you can trust me that that little segment right there is going to be steep. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And this is where I stop. <laughs> That's where I stop. This part is too chunky even for me. Holy shit. Damn. Fuck. How the fuck? I mean, I think if you know the trail, you'll be fine. I would have had to go. Look at this shit. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is. It's just steep as fuck. I got like about third, third of the way down on this one. But, yeah, I'm not trying to get hurt right now. This is definitely really steep. Fuck. My back tire is almost to the back of my head. Really? Okay, here we go. Hopefully it gets a little bit easier. Oh shit! Oh, wrong line. Oh. Okay. Now here. Which way should I take? Looks like step downs on the left. Right side looks rollable, so we'll go right. Oh, son of a sh God damn. Shit. Oh, man. This is definitely an adventure. Look at that shit. I don't know how. I don't know if the camera does any justice on this steep snow. God damn. So I want to put the arrow on there, though, for the line. I guess I went the wrong way. But look. I'm going to try to put it in perspective how steep this can be. The right side is definitely like, I thought it was drop downs, but it's not. It's like super steep rollers. And then the left side is a little bit more mellow. But regardless, it's still pretty steep. Get back on that bike. There we go. Okay, not too shabby. Then we're coming to the end of it. That was wrong. Four more trucks. Oh! Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Shit. Yeah, man, I don't know. Let's see. There's definitely a line. Looks sketchy though. Let's see. Oh. Oh man, that's fucking sketchy. I gotta get this shit on video. It's pretty cool though, it's grippy. I can do a whole thing. Ah. Ah. Hard. Ah. Woo. The top part is fucking gnarly, man. 
There is some fucking speed bumps up there. Shit. I'm done for that. Okay, so we're back on the bike. That was fucking hair raising shit right there, dude. Uh, I gotta admit, that's gotta be one of the most technical, still one of the most technical fucking segments I've done. I think in my life, man, because I haven't done anything that technical in a while or ever. And I think this is the end. We made it, we survived. Uh, damn, dude, uh, definitely ride at your own risk. Um, you're definitely gonna be pushed to your limits if you're an intermediate rider like me. Intermediate to beginner. Now it's time to find my way back. There's the, the mountain. Yeah, oh, shit, dude. I did not expect that at all. Hello? We gotta go back to the car all right so i gotta be honest i did not expect that trail to be like that i literally thought it was gonna be mostly flat a couple berms and that's it uh i've seen pictures online i've seen some videos but like always the video does not show how steep some parts of the trails it can be um yeah a lot of people told me you know what the place is whack it's not as fun as you think it is but dude, I gotta disagree strongly. That shit's pretty fun, man. And if you're good at jumps, man, there's a, a good section that you get some good air. Um, there's definitely a lot of technical rocks. And that's just one segment, dude. So I'm sure there's other segments that are a little different, like either steep or open, but I don't know if I got lucky on the first try, but that was fun, man. So it just comes to show you that even though someone tells you the trail is whack, you got some time to kill and you're still wondering if that trail really is whack just go and ride it dude find out for yourself like my homie Eli said there's only one way to find out but yeah I highly recommend coming out here hopefully this video gives you an idea of where I went I know I backtracked a lot but sometimes you just got to get off the bike and assess the trail see if it's doable if I didn't go back and looked at it I probably would have not gone back and actually did it just because it looks it looks intimidating but i'm glad i actually did i had a really great time out here and yeah we're just heading back to the car now but once again thank you for riding with me one more time um hopefully this kind of like gets you in the mood to go out for rides i know that every time i watch you know bkxc single track sampler seth you know bike hacks all those guys every time i watch their video and I'm sitting at home just watching the video. It just makes me want to get my bike, text my homies, and go ride, you know? So hopefully this does the same for you. Just returning the favor to the community. Um, but yeah, thank you for riding and ride safe.